Okay, so let's move further now to second conditional. And what's the difference between first conditional and second conditional? Well, second conditional is for unlikely future events and present events, unlikely present or future, whereas first conditional is likely and real. It's likely to happen. So let's say I'm going to say, if I'm going to say something like this, if I... Yeah, I'm going to use the word pregnant. Now, I don't know if you know this, but men can't get pregnant. And so this is highly unlikely. It's highly unlikely that Dave will ever be pregnant. And for that reason, I'm going to always use second conditional when I say if Dave were pregnant and not if Dave is pregnant, because I'm never going to get pregnant. It's, it's not just highly unlikely. It's impossible. And so... I've got to use second conditional if I talk about, you know, the possibility of me getting pregnant because it's unlikely. I can't use first conditional, otherwise it sounds like I'm a woman. And you all know that I'm not a woman and that I can't get pregnant. You all know that. OK, so second conditional is for unlikely, present or future. And I want to stress that because a lot of students think it's just for unlikely present. They don't realise it's for the future as well. It's for either. OK, and I'll give you some examples to show you that. But you probably just noticed that I kept saying if Dave were pregnant, yeah, he wouldn't be very happy. Yeah, he, <laughs> he perhaps wouldn't even want to have the baby. It's that bad. Yeah. So notice it's Dave were and not Dave was. Yeah. And that's weird, isn't it? It's something that we call subjunctive because usually it's it's um, I was, he was, she was, it was, Dave was.